What's up, everybody? I'm back, and we got another topic for you. I mean, everybody know we got student loan forgiveness. We know college expenses is getting higher and higher. We know college education is through the roof. I, I got some family members going to college now. It's costing what it costs for Bentley just to get to school, especially when you account for room and board. So the question today is, you know, now that you people have kids, when your kids grow up, are you going to assist for them to go to college? Alex, you don't have any kids right now, but might be some in the future. So what is your plan on having kids? Will you insist that they go to college to get a better education, to make more money, to be successful in life? What is your viewpoint? Um, I think that's a weird question because I don't because I don't like school. Um, I don't like college, none of it. So I think if they were going to college for a degree that made sense, like doctor, uh, if they wanted to be an engineer, um, lawyer, like something that required that degree in that profession, then I uh, I would assist them, but in what way? In, in financially a system or a system with no no not no not a system would you insist that they go oh, to insist, college? insist okay okay um yeah i mean if it's if it's for something that made sense in fields like that fields that they wanted to actually have a career in but that career required a degree like that um i mean obviously you can study up on medicine as much as you want, but you can't legally perform it if you don't have a degree. Right. Um, right. Same with law, with the law, being a lawyer. Uh, but uh, engineering, I think, would, well, you still need to be certified to be an engineer, but uh, you could use people like, say, Elon Musk. Uh, you know, he doesn't have a degree in engineering, but he's created his own ways to be in that kind of field or realm. But something like that, yeah, I would insist that they go to college. Yeah, I, I like the fact that you brought up Elon Musk. And I don't know what degree Elon Musk got. I don't know if he's an engineer degree. Matter of fact, I can look it up. Again. Physics and bachelor. He got a bachelor's and art degree in physics and science. In ec a bachelor of science degree in economics. All right. So and, and the reason why I like that you said that was because if you work for Elon Musk, you need an engineer degree. Right. But if you own a company, you can do whatever you want to and just tell all the engineers what to do and you can do engineering things. Right. Um for me, I, I do have I do have kids and um I my oldest, he wants to be in the IT field and he going to school, he's in college. But then I told him, I was like, well, in the IT field, the degree is cool, but the certificates mean more. And for people that don't know, if you're in the IT field and you're, you know, a part-time student or somebody that's, you know, lazily going to school, what I mean by lazily going to school, meaning you take a couple classes here, a couple classes here, those classes go extinct after a certain amount of years. So if you're you know, taking the 10 year plan to go get a bachelor's degree, those college credits won't transfer all the way through because you need to have certain classes done at a certain amount of time because technology changes all the time. So that's why I told him the certificates are the thing that's the most important. So he's going at this, he's going at the certificates. He, he uh, actually, he has some um, apprenticeship programs that he's, going into back where he's going to live once he uh, leaves out of Europe. So, but my goal and my thing to them is always, like you said, if you're going to school, go to school for something applicable. If you don't want to be an entrepreneur, if you don't want to own your work, if you don't want that pressure on you and you just want to go through a nine to five, then go ahead. But of course, I'm telling them both sides of the coin. I'm showing them that being an entrepreneur, you controlling your life is one way. And then getting a degree, you can be part of the part of the system and get a degree, get taxed to death, 
and go on like that. My youngest son, he don't have a choice. My youngest son, he has to go to school, not because I want him to go to school. I was I was already part of the matrix when when I had him. So I didn't I didn't think I was actually when my youngest son was born, I was actually going through school myself. And then so what I did was my son's school, my youngest son's school is already paid for through his master's degree. So I'm not making him go to school because I think he needs the degrees. I'm making him go to school because I already paid for it. <laughs> That's the reason why he got to go. I, and I, ain't, I ain't wasting no money, leaving no money on the ground. So he still has to go to school to use the funds and use the money that I already paid for the school. I mean, if he, you know, I'm not forcing my kid to go down that path that I'm down of being an entrepreneur, owning my work. But I will still let him know, you know, how it goes. And if he uses the degree and then go do great things, great. But he's going to just spend the money that I already paid for. But it's not an end-all, be-all for me. Now, if you talk to my wife, that's a whole different story. She might kill us all if he don't, if he don't get the degree and all that. But for me, a degree is not an end-all, be-all. I made money before I got a degree. I made money after I got a degree. So that don't. That don't have a real impact on me in my in my life and how I look at it. For my kids, would I want them to go the entrepreneurial route? I would want them if they have the desire to do it. I'm not going to force it down their throat. I'm not going to force my kids when they get older. Oh, you have to take over these rental properties. Oh, you have to do this. This is that's why I set up my business structure the way it did. That it will run with or without me, with or without them, because I can't. I don't want them to have my dreams. I want them to have their own dreams. My goal as a parent is just to push them as hard as, as hard as I can to for them to reach excellence in whatever they decide. But a degree is not an end all be all for me. But unfortunately for my youngest son, he got he got to go through it because I already paid for it and I can't get the money back. So, so that's my view on it. What degree? Would you want your youngest son to get? Uh, and I mean, it goes into the same. It goes into the same. Elk you said is is do get something a degree in something that is needed to have a degree in. I mean, will I allow my son to go to school to be a teacher? No, no, because you got to make more than what I paid for for the degree. I'm just being honest. And I see teachers now. I mean, it's I know it could be some teachers that might come in the comment section saying they make a lot of money, you know, after they work 30 years or someplace. But for the majority, like 90 percent of them, they're going to say, no, the the life is not worth it. Yeah, they chased it. They chased their passion. To teach kids, but the economic impact on their life is they're struggling just to follow their love. I'm not going to say I'm not going to. Tell them when you're going to get a degree, oh, get a degree in something you love. Because you leave it up to my youngest son, he'll probably get a degree in Roblox or something. So um, get a degree that will pay you to be able to live your life now and not have to sacrifice one or the other. I mean, jobs today is is simple. Most The average job today puts you in a situation where you have to make a sacrifice one way or the other. If you live, if you live life today, then you sacrifice your retirement years because you're not putting uh, money away. You don't make enough to put money away in a median household income. Or you take your money and then you invest like we always tell people to do, live on less than you make. And then you invest so your retirement years are better, but you don't get to enjoy the the. I guess what they say, the finer things in life when you're younger. That's just the median income in a way. So let's just use this. You just use a, a, a quick number. $50,000 here in Florida. $50,000 a year here in Florida. It will bring you roughly, and let's say you're not putting in the 401k and nothing like that. You're, that's about, after taxes, you know, medical and stuff, that's about what? Uh, $1,200, $1,300 every two weeks? So $2,800 a month. If this is you, I mean, this let's just use the rent or the mortgage in Florida. A two-bedroom apartment 
is fifteen hundred dollars. So that's one paycheck gone. A car payment, and we just talk about the average everyday Joe. I'm not talking about me or you. The average everyday Joe right now, they're spending between six hundred to a thousand dollars on a car payment. So let's just use the lower number, six hundred. So that now that leaves seven hundred dollars left for utilities, groceries, and gas for the vehicle. It's all our money. It's all gone. That's that's what I mean. So I whatever job whatever job they go for in college, it has to be enough so they can live their life. Of course, I'm we always preach living way below your means. But right now, this fourteen hundred dollars, fifteen hundred dollars for rent in just Florida, the area we're at, that's just a standard. I mean, yeah, they could stay at my house forever, but that is the standard in Florida. So somebody making fifty thousand dollars a year, they they own a poverty line. As far as what they can do, they can barely get by. They got enough money to barely get to work every week and they live in paycheck to paycheck. I mean, of course, I will tell them, you know, roommate make costs lower, but they have to shoot for jobs that's paying way more if they're going to go get a degree. And that's just the view. And that's what I instill and teach to my kids. Makes sense. With all that being said, guys, if you like the video, hit the like button. Leave a comment down below, share this video, subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one.